Hey guys, welcome back for another Dokkan Battle video. Today we're going to be talking about the data download that happened actually two days ago on the JP side of Dokkan. Now, I apologize for not getting this video out yesterday. I know it's a little bit late and you all are probably already aware of everything. Um, I was out at the time that this got dropped. Um, I didn't get home till late. I had to wake up early for a doctor's appointment. I went back to bed and then I went out as soon as I woke up because I had some things I had to do. So by the time I got home last night, I passed out. Anyway, that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. I will be doing my weekly grind again today. I should probably just change it to Thursdays because honestly the past three weeks has been Thursdays. <laughs> but I will definitely be dropping that later on today. Um, so today we're going to be talking about the data download, the new LR cell, the new world tournament stuff. So uh, let's go ahead and jump into it. And before that, please guys, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you are new here. I do a whole bunch of news, updates, reviews, card analysis, team building guides, everything that you would want in Dokkan Battle. Uh, and if you guys have any questions or want any specific content for the game, go ahead and let me know down in the comments below. I also do Legends and um, I'll do a little bit of JP coverage as well. But anyway, without further ado, let's jump into it. 25, the 25th World Tournament has been announced and this is a new physical Mighty Mask is available. Um, you also get a Dokkan Awakening for this core. This core has been around for a while. Um, he was the 12th and the 10th World Tournament, 12th for JP, 10th for the Global. Um, he is a very good support unit, he's been very good. Agility type attack and defense plus 30%. So if anyone ever pulled him, you would keep him on for your agility teams. Even, honestly, um, you could put him on your Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta team. He would have been a pretty decent unit there, even though he didn't get the buffs, he would have, he, he's buffing everyone else on the team. But, you know, he is very, he's all pretty much a staple on a mono extreme agility team, a Super 17 team, just because of that. And he's really good on a movie bosses team if you're running majority of the agility units. I mean, there's really not um, too many. Let's see over here. We have Turles as the leader. Um, and then these are the uh, movie boss ones. So uh, you would have uh, for extreme, I mean, I guess you could do super as well. You would have Tapion, you have Beerus, you have Korra as a support, you could have Bojack on there. Freeze is really good because of his, because he is uh, the blocker. Obviously Turl is, and then you also have the Baba Shop Korra, which isn't really that great. But anyway, that's all available there. I'm just making a point with the team. But uh, yeah, he's pretty good. He's a pretty damn awesome unit. Now he now Dokken Awakens with seven of the World Tournament Master Mark medals. Um, he will Dokken Wake into this Decisive Execution Korra Final Form. Leader ability is Strength Type, Enemy Attack and Defense minus 40%. So for those of you who are actually having issues uh, destroying the um, Super Battle Road, he is going to make it that much easier just from his leader ability alone. Because that means you're going to be able to take on the Super Strength type if you run a double lead with 80% damage reduction. Now you remember you also have Frieza there. Um, I don't know, I would, I'm actually going to do a separate video on this because this is actually really interesting for a damage reduction build for this team now that we actually have something really good. Um, I'm going to need to look into the HP regeneration. I don't think the, I think the Boo has it. Uh, again, I'm going to look into it, but that's a really awesome leader ability for Super Battle Road. His super attack is Supernova, causes supreme damage to the enemy, greatly lowers attack, or greatly lowers defense. Passive skill, complete invasion. Agility type attack and defense plus 40%. Now he gets 10% buff. He's very viable. He's pretty much an awesome, he's probably one of the best support units for an agility team. He has a high chance to launch up to two additional attacks, plus an additional attack plus 5% with each attack performed up to 50%. So, after 10 attacks... He will have a 50% attack buff on top of his 40%, which gives him about a 90% attack buff total. I think the 50% is calculated differently, so it might be a little bit more than that. So overall, he will definitely do a little bit more damage, which will well, it's going to make him a little bit more viable um, on the team. So if you also give him additional, so you'll get that quicker. If you give him some like, if you give him like two or three additional pads, because then that way he can launch up to three. Technically, um, it doesn't matter if it's a super or not. Link skills that he gets, he gets Shattering the Limit, but he has Strongest Clan in Space, Brutal Beatdown, Cold Judgment, Nightmare, Big Bad Bosses, Metamorphosis, Shattering the Limit, Movie movie Bosses category, Max Stats are HP of 9201, Attack of 8082, Defense of 4710. I'm not going to advise doing Dupe System, even though you can do it. I'm not going to advise doing it, since he is technically still a support unit. 12 Key Multiplier is 145%. Additional Attack from Core's Passive, Seals can't be Super Attacks. Oh, really? I didn't know that. I, I, uh, I didn't know that, that it just it doesn't say here launch up the two additional attacks It doesn't say that it can't be a super but that's interesting um, His additional attack plus 5% with each attack performed is calculated separately resulting in an increase of 7% per attack performed Or a total of 110% after 10 attacks So that's what I was talking about before so he can actually do some damn decent damage um, Again, I don't know how, what the actual statistics on that are going to be Especially with, and a 12 key multiplier of 145% isn't horrible, but it is supreme damage um, so I guess we'll have to wait and see how much damage he's actually doing after that on an on a optimal team, obviously. 
Um, but anyway, that's a pretty awesome unit. Uh, if you have him, I would definitely get him focused on getting him Doken Awakened so you can run him on specific teams. He's going to be a pretty damn good unit for you, especially on Super Battle Road with that, uh, with that leader ability. And stay tuned for that if you want to see the video I'm going to do talking about the damage reduction ability. Um, the next one we're talking about is the new reward. It's going to be the Mischievous Curiosity Mighty Mask. Uh, he's a, he looks pretty cool. I do like Mighty Mask overall. I like the old card. I like the, uh, I think we had the um, tech one as well. Um, so not the tech one. There's another one as well that we had that was available. Uh, leader ability is physical type key plus two, HP attack and defense plus 50%, which is bad. Uh, super attack is final can and raises attack and defense for one turn. I wish it was greatly, but causes supreme damage to the enemy. Passive skill per peculiar rhythm. Attack and defense plus 80% when facing only one enemy. Evade enemy's attack, including super attack for one turn when HP is 40% or below only once. Now, I'm not a huge fan of that second part. Only once kind of sucks. I feel like it, I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe it should be like, I, I don't know. I feel like it, it's it's good because he gets to evade. But the fact that it only happens once means it's a throwaway. You get one freebie and then that's it. And the attack and defense plus 80% when facing only one enemy is cool for Dokkan bosses and everything. But with a supreme damage modifier, even though it raises attack and defense, I feel like even though he's a world tournament card, he's not supposed to have anything crazy. I feel like he, he should be doing a little bit more damage with the current meta of the game. Or at least have a higher defensive buff so that way he could tank a little bit better, if, if you understand what I'm saying. But overall, he's not a horrible card for a free-to-play unit. Um, as long as you grind, he's kind of worth it. Link skills are Super Saiyan, World Tournament, Reborn, More Than Meets the Eye, The Innocent, Shocking Speed, and Flea. He gets Flea most likely because of that whole uh, dodge thing that he has, which is pretty funny. It's, it's probably because it's like the last part of the tournament from the Majin Buu Saga, where it hit when, you see Super Saiyan Trunks and Super Saiyan Goten in there, when uh, 18 uses Destructo Disc and they freaking go into separate directions and they see it split in half. Uh, categories are World Tournament and Majin Buu Saga. Um, I probably wouldn't ever run a Majin Buu Saga, but um, when he gets a Doken Awakening World Tournament, or if you don't have any a lot of SSRs to use on the World Tournament team to go up against Hercule, so that way you get um, additional drops of his of his um, statues, he'll be very useful for that. Just make sure you Z Awaken him. Max stats are going to be HP of 7487, attack of 8099, and defense of 4982. Um, for this character, he is physical, and because that's super attack, as of right now, if you get dupes and you want to put dupe system into him, uh, I would say go with additionals because if he gets a double super attack, he's raising his attack and defense for tw two times in one turn. But we don't know what his Doken Awakening is going to be, so you might want to hold off on that. Uh, his 12 key multiplier is 135%. Passive skill clarification. Once HP is 40% or below at the start of the turn, Mighty Mask will evade all enemies' attacks for one turn only once per battle. Raises attack and defense for one turn is 30%. To super attack modifier and defense his defense boost from the super attack is calculated separately from his passive skill for a total defense of 134 percent after performing a super attack and this is the mighty max i was talking about the free one that you can increase the super attack with so he is freely farmable if you would like to do that i don't really think it's worth it but you can uh when he gets to hopefully when he gets a doken awakening it'll be better i feel like he will just because attack and defense is already 80 percent so if they doken awaken him they're gonna have to buff it i mean they might only give him 10 percent like 90 percent but um, I feel like that it's going to be better. Maybe um, maybe that evade is going to be like a medium chance to evade. And when HP drops below 40%, you get a guaranteed, something like that. And then he'll definitely get Shattering the Limit. But um, we don't know what's going to happen with this. And this might just turn into Greatly Raises Attack. So uh, we'll have to wait and see what happens. But overall, not a bad card. I'm not going to go hard for it. We also have another card that's over here. I don't know where this one's available from. Um, I feel like this is going to be part of the World Tournament as well. Um, but this is the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. Now, it wasn't available on the wiki as of yet. So I can't really do a wiki translation, but luckily we do have a Reddit translation. By the way, shout out to the wiki, shout out to the Reddit, shout out to dbz.space for all the awesome information. Um, I'm not going to translate to English just because I want to show off the card real quick. This is the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. That artwork is phenomenal. <laughs> like that, that is my favorite artwork so far of the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, the Great Saiyan Man. And I did look on the wiki for Great Saiyan Man and for Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. This card didn't appear in either one of them, but it is technically supposed to be Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. But overall, really awesome artwork. Uh, let's go to the translation real quick. Gold Shining Justice. His leader ability is Strength Type Key plus 2. At, uh, HP Attack and Defense plus 50%. Super Attack. Super Kamehameha. Greatly raises attack for one turn and deals supreme damage to the enemy. It's all right. I like the greatly raises attack. That's really awesome. Quote. There's no way I could ignore this. Passive. Jointly opposed strength. Super Class Allies. Key plus 2. Attack and Defense plus 30%. And Extreme Class Enemies. Defense minus 50%. Oh, okay. So he is going to be a support unit. Interesting. Um, I feel like we have enough of them, but attacking defense was 30% is definitely better. I think most of the world tournament support units have been uh, key plus two, attacking defense plus 20% or 25%. So this being 30% is actually pretty, it's a lot better. And the fact that there, he is decreasing enemies' defense by 50% can be very beneficial, um, especially on certain battles like in Super Battle Road, it'll definitely be a little bit more beneficial. 
because you really need key you want the more attack buffs and you want the enemy to take more damage so overall i think he'd be really good for a super team he might be he might, might actually do i think the uh, new category stuff that's going on he will be very very good for that um on super battle road link skills are golden warrior super saiyan shocking speed hero justice prepared for battle kamehameha so he does have some really good link skills when it comes to super saiyan stuff like golden warrior super saiyan um prepared for battle and kamehameha i mean kamehameha not so much there's only a 2500 attack buff but they are pretty good and shocking speed depending on who you're running can be very viable hero justice is just like a throwaway link you're never gonna really use it you may use it sometimes but it's never gonna really happen um in terms of categories hybrid saiyan world tournament majin buu saga so he's part of two really good categories for um for super battle road which is hybrid saiyan and majin buu saga so you could definitely run him there because his passive skill is just super type and you could run pretty much all super types if you really wanted to on each of those teams um yeah hybrid saiyan is actually going to be a, i actually know because there are some extreme ones but they're like the free-to-play ones from the gt saga but you're never gonna really run them anyway um so awesome pretty awesome yeah i like it uh he's a pretty awesome unit um overall i really like the artwork so i would want him just for that but honestly again um maybe as support only but i feel like i would not run him as support because i really don't run too much support unless it's like a requirement to beat the level i usually just take all my hard hitters and i destroy everything unless it's like one of the newest events but again that's on the jp side you know what i rambled on enough in this video i was going to go and talk about cell but i'm gonna save that for another video because it's already at 11 minutes um so what we're gonna do is we're gonna call it quits on this video i'm going to upload the cell video later on in the day so if you guys want to check that out go ahead i will also be releasing my weekly grind video later on in the day so what i'll probably do is i'll have this one uploaded by two o'clock um then i will have the cell one come out like around four or five uh, four or five o'clock uh, that's eastern time by the way and then i'll do the weekly grind by the end of the night so that way you guys can have all a full day's worth of good videos uh but anyway guys again thank you for joining me here today make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new and let me know of uh the gohan of the new Korra, and the mighty mask which of the three do you think is the best and which ones are you the most like excited for anyway guys thank, thank you again i will catch you down in the comments below peace out